Hi, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Serena and in today's video, we are going to be sewing up a PDF pattern. It's a very popular brand and I will be ranting about why I'm sewing so many of these PDF patterns recently. Um, I kind of want to ease back into making full length content and getting more comfortable in front of the camera. So without further ado, let's get into the video. I hope you enjoy. For today's pattern, I'll be using the day night pattern by Charm Patterns. I'll use the square neckline and the short bishop sleeve on a pencil skirt. I have been collecting a lot of PDF patterns over the year, mostly when I first started sewing and it has gotten out of hand mostly because I started inheriting a lot of true vintage patterns from a lot of friends and so I haven't been printing and piecing digital patterns. This summer I decided to go through all of my digital patterns, most of which come from Gertie's Charm Patterns just because she has a lot of variety and a lot of size options which allows me to make gifts for friends without having to buy new patterns in their sizes. So I decided to go through all those patterns and really dedicate myself to making a couple of each of them to justify the cost of them. So that's what I've been doing. This is my third night and day dress. This is the first time I've made this bodice with a straight skirt or a pencil skirt. And I think in the end, I kind of like it, but not as much as if I would have used a full skirt, but I didn't want to buy extra fabric. So what I'm probably gonna do is make a red skirt to throw over the top of it. And I think it'll be cuter with a big full skirt because that is just my comfort zone. I really love Gertie's um, day and night pattern. That is my absolute favorite one. I love the way that the bodice fits, but also I love all of the style options that you have. I think this dress in particular has maybe the most style options with multiple colors, necklines, sleeve options and then you can interchange the skirt with any of her dress patterns so i will say hands down that this one is my favorite but that being said because it is my favorite i'm less likely to print the other ones <laughs> that i already have i when i first started sewing in general but especially when i first started sewing vintage it was a lot more affordable and easier to locate PDF and reproduction patterns than it was the originals because I really didn't know how to search or purchase vintage things in general. So as time went on, I realized it is pretty easy to find true vintage patterns and it can be affordable as well, especially when you have a great community of people who keep an eye out for cool patterns for you when they see them or um, don't mind sharing or swapping um, pieces in their collection because I do tend to swap sizes with my friends so I no longer have the will or the need to use the PDF patterns like I depended so much in the beginning but the ones I have should be put to use and sometimes almost all the times I will say that because the PDF patterns are stored on my computer, out of sight, out of mind. And so sometimes I just simply forget to use them or pull them out. And this summer I ended up pulling out the night and day pattern because I had a true vintage pattern that was almost identical to it. And turns out that that pattern, one of the downsides of vintage is that it was incomplete. All it had was the skirt pieces, so I needed the bodice, and then I used the night and day bodice to make the dress, and then I didn't stop. I made two more dresses after that. Uh, PDF patterns have their advantages, especially since they are stored digitally. You don't have to worry about them getting ruined or the physical storage of those patterns. So that is my long-winded rant about PDF patterns. I will say 90% of the PDF patterns that I purchased were made when I first started sewing vintage and I needed a dress the week of an event. So the convenience of just buying a pattern and getting an instant download really appealed to my very impatient and underprepared self. And so now I wanna get some use out of those patterns. 
So this is a very short video because this dress was very quick to make, but I wanted to have a project that I can ease my way back into doing full length videos. So if you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe as well as follow me on Instagram to catch up with me in real time, but also follow me on Ko-Fi where you can leave me a tip, see sneak peeks of upcoming projects. And if you made it this far, thank you so much for watching. I truly appreciate your support. Don't forget to like and share, and I look forward to seeing you in my next video.